Here we have Silverbolt from the G2 Superion Combiner War set. He is the same as the previous release except now in G2 colors. Let's take a closer look. He is mostly molded in blue and red with silver and black highlights. He has a G2 symbol on his chest and he is the most blockiest transformer I have seen in a while. With his arms straight down he will look like a rectangular block. A cubic head doesn't help either. There are lots of molded details on this figure which is great. The hip pins are visible where most other transformers will have a skirt to cover this up. The legs are very huge. On the side you can see the 5mm ports on his arm and the huge backpack. He basically carries the entire airplane on his back. But because of his robot size, it doesn't look that bad. You can plug some guns on the 5mm holes on the back to store it. Articulation wise, his head can turn all the way around and can look up and down a bit. The ratcheting arms can spin all the way around and can move out at 90. It has 90 degree elbows and a bicep swivel. No swivel wrists though. Also no waist joint. Ratcheting hips move the leg forward 90 degrees but cannot move back because of the airplane kibble. Knees bend at 135 degrees but also blocked by the kibble. It can come out at 90 degrees and it has a thigh swivel. His toes can point downwards but it has no ankle rockers. Size comparison time, he is about 18 centimeters tall to the top of his head. Here he is next to Firefly, Deluxe Bumblebee, and Leader Megatron. Let's get him transformed. Here he is in jet mode. He is a modified blue Concorde supersonic jet, and it looks pretty awesome from the top. Most of the robot kibble is covered from the top due to the oversized wings. The paint applications are fairly minimal, but for some reason the body of the plane is painted in shiny pearly blue paint, but the wings are not, so it does look out of place. The panel lines and the molded windows give it additional detail. This has a wingspan of 15 centimeters and a length of 23 centimeters. So this makes it an approximate 1 250th scale model. If you don't mind the shorter proportions. You can point the nose downward to simulate the actual Concord look. Now the bottom is another story. You can see the entire robot body on the bottom. The robot is not very hidden at all and it is very apparent that this is a robot. It is so bad that I wouldn't even call it a shell former. It is like a robot doing yoga with a plane attached to his back. They did give it some landing gear on the front and back for details if you want to consider that. It has two 5mm ports on the front to attach the big gun. This adds a giant cannon to your passenger plane and replaces your front landing gear. You can also attach guns to the exposed fists on the sides. Here he is next to Skydive. You can really see how out of scale this Concorde jet is. If you like this review, please subscribe and leave a comment. 
be sure to check out my other videos of the figures in the Superion G2 set. That's it for now. See you next time.